Ah, London. What a town. History around every corner, and a tourist photographing it. Pub serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theatre and art. And multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. Status. Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bagley? If you haven't brushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. Let us all this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. That hurt you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? Profiles are heavily encrypted. No identifying information. Uh, ghosts in this system.
They've got loads of dead set gear down here. Now, why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like DedSec was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Who are these men in black, anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Badly as that. RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. said propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are going to blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. Bagley, is that not the detonator? No, but it's a transmitter sending a signal to a device on the floor above us. Safe to assume that would be the detonator we're looking for. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the centre of government. Found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, Wait. I might know a workaround. We trained your manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize it, so fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Bases on, guns out. It's about to get real. Fuck. They're on. 
on me. I'll try and hold them off. Stay sharp. Search the area. Clear. Moving on. Let's have a look around. Bagley, update. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti-tamper security is. Still working. This can't be happening. I've been shot! Bagley, tell me you're close. I'm through security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... Diffused. <laughs> See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, 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 what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking okay, hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the tone conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it... I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, opt, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay. Bagley's down. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. Jesus. Oh, 
Is it just me? with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the great fire, the blitz. There's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Minutes ago, a series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected. Mourners gathered for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Dowling Street, where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set terrorist groups. Albion used cutting-edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of DedSec. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Corporations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. As crime numbers take a dive, illegal gambling, drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates, the streets of Camden and Brixton. As Albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs thanks to the Reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few people. Reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet that terrorist group DedSec were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply do not support any other story. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DedSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Ward.
waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up DeadSec and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think if anything, DedSec showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find DedSec more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next, I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombings? Oh, trust me, Claire. They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Scott... Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Fine.
This is London Call. You're listening to Buckingham, your source for what they don't want to know. With me, Tash. It's hard to believe that there could be shortages of food and medicine in an advanced country like ours. And yet, really. Auto drive now and later. Our government promises of adequate food turn out to be just another lie. Today we're short of basic foodstuffs and vital medical supplies. Hundreds have already died of conditions that could be easily cured. The black market means that criminal gangs... Auto drive now disabled. Our cities. And Prime Minister Deb Pisani is even around to pretend to care. How do we go from a consumer paradise to a place of empty shelves and fighting for supplies? What turns a land of plenty into a wild west of hoarding, food battles and black market barriers? We protect everyone who comes into the country by keeping their identities. Here's veteran political reporter Ian on the power behind shortages. Yeah, I mean, what's the first thing that happened when Britain sealed itself off? Like, the first stuff that got stopped from coming in was fresh food. I mean, we could live without the fresh food. I mean, everyone's quality of life got instantly worse when we go to that. The most damaging part was when the radioactive isotopes now, radioactive isotopes, that's what we need cancer screening. Cancer screening. Now, that stuff, it has a short half life. Technesium saves, used to save hundreds of thousands of lives just by screening for cancer, let alone testing for cancer. But that stuff has a half life of 66 hours. As soon as those walls went up, there was just no time to bring it into the country, and that is when people slowed up. And then the medicines. The thing is, there's loads of medicines that you just can't stockpile. There was a, there was a moment before it took place when actually there was some efforts to try and stockpile some of the medicines. There was some things that could be done. For a lot of it, there was nothing that could be done. We had a major problem with drugs for schizophrenia. So we saw such an uptick in the kind of attacks that saw on the street and people suffering on their own because they didn't have the mental health drugs because those drugs simply couldn't be stockpiled. We eventually found the same thing with foods that weren't produced in the UK. And the trouble with the UK was, we don't produce our own food. We never had. For hundreds of years, we produced under half of our own food. So as soon as those walls went up, we started having significant material problems. In Britain, there were four. For a long, long time, Kevin, Vanhuis is a big deal. Maybe you can't read. Maybe you can't get the job. Maybe you just get lost in the woods and die. But then we have places, and it's no problem anymore. Right? Well... Now you look at how good all that robot shit is getting. Soon, you lose an arm, you lose a leg, no problem. Just like getting new pair of glasses. National Park uh, Statistics reported that... I've never been hey, so mad! Don't ignore me! I'm trying to get you out this shit. This is happening. You say you do that, you just try to test me. Wait. No. I'm 
Yeah. 